You know, I was thinking about what I said in the Labyrinth Zone here and that the moles weren't in the original Labyrinth Zone. Well, that's not entirely true. They're more of a representation of those drilling enemies that pop out of the ground when you near them with Sonic. So, yeah, they are a pretty good substitute for that. Anyway, yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Starlight Zone is up next. Let's do it. And the music. The music is here. My favorite song in Sonic 1. I'm getting, I'm getting a little emotional. I'm sorry. Just gotta, gotta compose myself here. What? Okay, I think I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Uh, the bombs in this level represent the exploding enemies that have the falling hedgehogs. No, they don't represent falling hedgehogs. They re represent the bomb enemies that explode into those four pieces of shrapnel. That uh, whoa, 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 that hurts Sonic when they touch when he touches them. And yeah, Ooh, this this is kind of it's kind of a dicey spot. <laughs> Yee. And Koopas. They're just there. Koopas are everywhere. Okay, how this, how's this platform going? Like that? That one's going around. I can't see the track on this background. It's kind of... kind of poopy. <laughs> Alright. First half is done. No midpoint though, sadly. At least not yet. I don't remember if this one has a midpoint or not. It doesn't seem like the levels here have any midpoints, and I gotta get rid of that before it causes issues. Whee! Oh yeah, you can't slide through those suckers. I mean, you could eventually, but it's not... <laughs> it's not the most practical thing to do. Whoa, 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 Pokey, what are you doing here in Starlight Zone? What are you doing here? Oh, jeez, what is this cloud doing here, too? <laughs> eh, eh. I kind of pushed myself in the wall there somehow. Not sure how that happened, but it happened. Get out of here. Because you are going to be terribly in the way, and I think this is safer than it looks. Because, yeah, the lightning doesn't hurt you. It's just a fire that does, and you have one square of room there in a small Mario. It's pretty safe. Mm, oh, shoot, I should have rushed that. Because, yeah, that Koopa is going to cause all sorts of issues now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. So I'll know that for next time, because there's a secret exit to be found in here. Pollen, 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 pollen! Okay... Uh, wait a second. Oh no, it's infinitely looping! <laughs> e. Okay, we're safe. Let's take one obstacle at a time, carefully. And on low on time, and I'm also close to the end of the level. Oh god. <laughs> Jesus! Yeah! Okay, I made it. <laughs> That's not a comfortable obstacle, especially when you're small like that. Jeez. <laughs> I could probably go under everything with the cloud, but I, I think I'd be kind of missing out on the challenge of the level. Um, I wonder if I should go for the secret exit first. I think that's what I'm going to do, because it's a little bit trickier to get to than the regular exit. Not too much trickier, though, because you have this cloud, and if you go all the way up to the ceiling, you can um, avoid all the baseballs along the way here. Yeah, it just makes everything there a, a, a trivial non-issue and whatnot, so yeah, grab that key, stick it in the keyhole, jump in the portal, you know the drill by now. And this portal will of course lead over to um, uh, World 6, uh, because, you know, there's one, one at every castle, you know, a portal at every castle except for the one in... Uh, World 7, so yep, there is where it leads to. And now we gotta go back and do the regular exit, which leads nowhere. <laughs> All for the sake of 100%ing. Well, anyway, that uh, run went pretty decently, but it's not that difficult to level, level or anything like that, except maybe that, that cloud segment with the charging chunk that I had to just barely nick with the baseballs and whatnot. Yeah, the one after that infinite looping Koopa, that one. I mean, this is sort of kind of tricky, but not not as tricky as that. Okay. Oh, I thought I despawned that other one. Whoa, 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 when that one respawned. <laughs> oh, poopers. Well, I could cut ahead because you know I could I can reach the secret, I mean, a regular exit with... Uh, 
Oh, and the secret exit too. Regular and secret exit without save states because the regular exit was, you know, just like right there, um, you know, within reach, except that I avoided it to go to the secret exit and whatnot. So yeah, I could, in theory, cut ahead, but I don't know, the journey is the fun part. <laughs> come on, come on, I'm gonna take the obstacles a little more carefully here. Yeah, I think it's a little bit... Why does that one keep following me? <laughs> it's a little bit safer to rush ahead of stuff there, I think. Okay, so this platform went out to here. And this platform went out to about there. Yes, good. I probably shouldn't be going this quick, though. Because it's probably going to do me in somewhere along the line. Oh, by the way, there's a little bit of gra graphical misalignment there. If I didn't point that out, uh, it has to do with the tile set, I'm guessing, with how things line up. Mm, are those just gonna collide with each other? Yeah, I thought they do. Alright, so anyway, cloud parts. This is probably the trickiest part of the level because you got a bunch of stuff to deal with. And I'm gonna despawn that Koopa. <laughs> there we go. I gotta stop. Get the baseballs. There we go. Baseballs are terribly in the way. I also like to get ahead of uh, that this Koopa here. Yeah, there we go. That's a much better way to tackle this obstacle. Oh, almost got pollen there. <sighs> okay, that charging chuck is coming up. E. I wonder if I should try and shell it. Yeah! Eh, that works. <laughs> Alright, staying up here worked before. Kind of. Sort of. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And now I'm just going to fly all the way along the top to the regular exit because there's really no obstacles left. Yeah! Actually, I'll try to get some stars here. Because I've been kind of lazy with these things lately. Oh, shoot, missed it! <laughs> oh, well. Another level 100%ed. Alright, final Sonic level, and you can probably guess what it is. Scrap Rain Zone. <laughs> and as you can tell, it's got a big dot, which means it's got a Switch Palace, which is the final elusive Switch Palace here. Um, it doesn't have a regular exit, secret exit, and a Switch Palace to, to get. So there isn't three exits to the sucker, there's just two. There's the regular exit and the uh, secret exit, which is combined with the uh, Switch Palace. So here we go. Scrap Brain Zone. Go! Oh yeah. We're rocking. Is this... I think this music is closer to the Game Gear version than the... Uh, uh, Genesis one, so it's so it's like the um, F oh, whoops, that was my own fault. <laughs> it's like FPI is, is switching music's up just for kicks. At least I think it's closer to the uh, um, Game Gear version of Scrap Brain Zone's music. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it was. Maybe they. I mean, maybe he does that because it's easier to do with the Super Mario World sound set or something like that. I don't know all the history to the game. Uh, regarding its development and stuff like that, but yeah. Ooh, no, no. wow, that's a that's a pretty formidable obstacle there. <laughs> it's just one enemy in a tight corridor. Whoa! And at least I can see the tracks. It's nice to be able to see the tracks. <laughs> yeah, makes things a whole lot more predictable. Uh, by the way, um, to get to the secret exit, you're gonna need to be big, so I'm probably gonna end up going back to the top secret area for a cape, because I'm, I'm not sure if there's any power-ups along the way. Judging from uh, the pattern of levels here, though, there doesn't seem to be many uh, uh, power-ups going on around here. Out of my way, Sonic! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> that could've gone very badly. Don't jump this way! No! Don't do that! Oh jeez. That's... Ok, 
Okay, go here. Good. Safe. Kind of. So. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um. I was trapped. <laughs> well, that's relatively tricky. Uh, that wasn't too shabby of a run, I have to say. Wow. Uh, these levels are getting trickier than I remember them. <laughs> so, that must mean that we have to be more careful. Play more skillfully. And I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> well, that's a pretty easy way to get past the flame guy there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I, actually, I could probably just run underneath all those blimps because when you when they spawn, um, they always jump at about the same time. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do at that segment. It would probably be safer than trying to go over them because sometimes um, with blimps, even in the original Super Mario World, well, this actually is the original Super Mario World. It's just you know uh, heavily modified, but it has the um, uh, physics of S Super Mario World and whatnot. But it has the um, it has this glitch where, when it's jumping up, you can sometimes spin jump into it and you end up taking a hit as if you were inside it. Yeah, it's pretty weird. <laughs> Alright, so, swim portion. Okay, I can jump there. I can't jump there. <laughs> Come on now, PK Gam. This isn't difficult. You've been through a lot worse. Definitely have been through a lot worse. <laughs> I wonder if I could like speed ahead by uh, spin jumping off of the fire and getting up on this platform. I probably could. Mm, anyway, I'm gonna duck in this corner because it works. Oh, that fire didn't disappear yet. Getting impatient. But I can't help it, when you have to replay the, se oof, the same segment, it just kind of makes you want to get back to where you lost that. <laughs> Alright, come on platform. B, my friend. Okay, this time I'm gonna wait. So actually, that first flame didn't even spawn. I think I must have despawned that first flame, actually. Somehow, some way. Yeah, I think... I should rush the thwimps. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> okay. I really, really should be more careful, like I say, but it's so, so easy to get impatient on obstacles and just go, you know, get all hyper and jump ahead. But it really, really is easier to get past obstacles when you really think about them. There we go. I think what I'm gonna do here is grab the shell and chuck it in there. And then I was gonna say jump off it, you know, with a spin jump because it's a little bit faster to do that. I mean, uh, it's faster to jump off of that way than it is to, uh, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. It's faster to do that than it is to, uh, I mean, more consistent to do that than it is to try and spin jump off the porcupine. Well, hedgehog. <laughs> okay, so I know it's safe at this very corner. Yee. All right, so the, these stairs. This is probably one of the trickiest obstacles. Okay, that was the right thing to do was to go under it. Okay, the secret exit is up there. There's a block. See that? Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna need a cape to even be able to unlock it. Okay, you see what you do is you break these two blocks, then you throw a shell down there. Those blocks with the monster faces on them are uh, blocks that allow sprites to go through them, and thus the, the shell will go down there. It'll hit the bottom block, and a vine will come up there. And if you hit, hit the switch at the beginning of the level, it will cause that block up there to um, turn into something you know, that's... You, you can actually go through. And whoa! <laughs> that was close. Alright. Portal. No, it's not the secret exit, don't worry. <laughs> but, yeah, it's... That's the secret exit to get to the Switch Palace is, uh... 
pretty tricky. All right, uh, as long as I'm going here, because you know, because I unlocked this portal, this portal leads to yeah, all the way over here, which means that I'll be able to play this level. I mean, I'll be able to go here to the second reality when I get done with the quote-unquote special world here. So yeah, it's almost as if I planned that from the beginning. <laughs> Um, what's the fastest way to the top secret area? Probably this portal, I'm guessing. Maybe, might be, yes. Now that I have these portals here, I can quite easily get back to the uh, top secret area for capes and whatnot. So anyway, let's cape up, because we're gonna need them. And obviously, as you've seen, there wasn't any... Uh, power-ups in the scrap brain zone, or at least it didn't seem to be, unless there was like something hidden somewhere, but I'm not seeing it. <laughs> so yeah, you gotta go to an external source to get get yourself powered up for the scrap brain zone. Here we go. Now, at, right at the start, what you wanna do is... Oh. Xbox D-pad, don't press down. Fly up fly up here and there's the switch that unlocks the block that allows you to get the vine through there now careful when you're going through here with a cape because if you accidentally fly that that could cause you ire <laughs> yeah so just gently go through the obstacles and you will be fine and now that I have a cape it's gonna make this level a lot easier <laughs> actually because I'll be able to um, spin right through some stuff, well, except the the thwimps and whatnot. But they're they're much easier to deal with than uh, other stuff I think uh, in this level. Uh, but you got to be careful when you get up to the spot that you need a shell for, because you absolutely have to keep a shell. So do not accidentally spin jump on it or and break it, because then you'll pretty much have to redo the level, unless you want to carry a, a shell all the way from the start over to it, but that's highly unlikely, because there's a bunch of obstacles along the way that's most likely going to make you lose your shell. So, yeah. Mm, I think I'll probably just, like, safely get past here. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, capes just offset all the obstacles. <laughs> like, normally you're, you're, you're dealing with um, really tight reaction times, but with, when you have the cape, you can just, you know, wait it out a little bit and and carefully get through this stuff. Except for here, maybe. Uh, ah. Oh no, this this kills the obstacles too. <laughs> All right, so here we go. No spin jumping. See the block is now uh, open. Okay, so what you want to do first is break these, and then oh shoot, didn't mean to do that. Get its shell. I'd like to get my cape back though for the. Uh, upcoming Switch Palace area. Alright, so get ready to throw this and run in. See that? Oh yeah. Now... Yeah, it eats the block. It's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, this upcoming place... This is something tricky. And you most certainly want to have a cape for this. Yeah, look at these alternating blocks. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep jumping ahead. I, I do recommend that- shoot, 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 ah, oh, shoot! You do, um, restart- wait, is this- this leads back up, right? Yeah, okay. You do- you are able to restart this at all times, um, because if you- I <laughs> teleported through the block! <laughs> because, as you, as you can tell, down is not necessarily death here, but- it kind of may as well be because, you know, you have to restart the segment every time it happens. Whoops. And I'm going to have to get the hang of this again. <laughs> Do not take the lower pipe out. Do not take the lower pipe out because that'll lead you um, past this segment and you'll have to redo this, you know, redo getting into this all over again. And you probably don't want that. <laughs> Now, for this block right here, you probably want to watch the, the, the blocks down below so that you can tell when a star is going to become solid. And there you go. Alright, over here, I'm probably just going to end up like duck jumping and gliding over to that side. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, I blew it. I blew it. So I hit my head on the ceiling. Curse the ceilings. Curse the ceilings. Oh. <laughs> shoot. Oh, I'll eventually get it. I mean, I have, have pretty much unlimited tries at this, so... Oh, I'll get it. <laughs> oh, I forgot. There's the time. So maybe I don't have unlimited tries at this. Yeah, okay. Jump true! And go up! There we go. Okay. Yo, three up moon! And... The blue switch! Yeah! Finally! <laughs> I could... Keyword could um, show you now everything in the top secret area, but I think I'm gonna wait until I do the uh, crash landed castle because it hints at something in there and it's related to the crash landed castle over at the volcano. So I think I'm gonna wait on that um, a little bit later and instead move on ahead. But for now, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I start the second reality. No, you know, the actual second reality in the second reality Project Real Reloaded. I know it's confusing, but yeah, the second reality is right through here. This is the first reality.